Hi guys, welcome to a new video. And uh, today I would like to show you my settings for the tow out and the steering angle. So um, I'm just gonna go straight ahead. Um, I have my car. Um, as you normally do with your tires, just set up the right height. And then I take the wheels off. And you take your camber gauges, setup tools, so what I normally start with is um, to make sure uh, with the caliber that each of the turnbuckle from the steering is the same uh, uh, length. So I normally measure on the inside. This is something you normally do when you build your car. You check the, the steering turnbuckles is the same. But it can be after a few rounds you adjust a little bit. It tends to uh, not be the same anymore. So maybe just double check from time to time that it's the same. So this one is a little bit tight. So you can adjust a bit on this one. So there is good. So now I made sure the steering buckles is the same size. Now I can check the top. So my preferred setting is uh, one degree to out. Um, I normally keep within a 0 0.5 to 1.5 toe out uh, plus in the front. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, adjust to one degree. So I put one side to one and I check the other one. Should also be one. Yeah, looks good. Um, um, yeah, my preferred setting is a one degree. Uh, with less uh, to out, you will gain a um, um, little bit more um, uh, turn in the exit of the corner. And with more um, to out, you will have a bit more uh, reaction when you turn in. But you will lose a little bit uh, steering when you go out of, the, out of the corner. So in generally, like um, low grip, you tend to use a little bit more toe out and on high grip uh, you go a little bit less uh, toe out. So for example indoors I can go down to maybe a plus 0.5 toe out. Um, it's a little bit less uh, nervous in the first direction but you have more turn. And on asphalt I, I usually stay between 1 and 1.5 toe out in the front. Um, just to have more um, uh, yeah, reaction and a uh, little bit more, um, yeah, easier to drive. So now we set the toe out. Also gonna uh, take the show you my steering angle. Um, max degree of the steering angle on the inside wheel is a third degree on the IF fourteen two car. And that's when the steering um, um, steering arm touches the C-hub. I usually like to run, uh, set up my radio as a, a full lock to the C-hub. Because normally when I drive, I don't like uh, lock the radio when I turn. So I'm a little bit more... Um, yeah, how to say it, less uh, aggressive on the steering. So I like to have a full lock available, but I don't use it uh, all the time when I drive. Um, but if you are a driver, you like to um, uh, use full lock on your radio, uh, I suggest you um, adjust between uh, 27 and 28 degree on the inside wheel. So you check with this and uh, check on the inside and full lock on the radio 
and make sure it's uh, between 27 and 28. Um, because if you if you are a person you like to uh, drive with full lock uh, a lot, uh, you will lose you will actually lose steering because the car um, um, it tends to understeer when you go full lock all the time. So um, yeah, if you are like me, you like a little bit more um, precise feeling and you don't use full lock, you can use the full full lock settings on your radio. But if, um, yeah, if you are a driver, you like to uh, really push the wheel full lock a lot, uh, I suggest you use uh, 28 to 27 degree uh, steering angle on the inside wheel. Then you will have the most uh, um, performance on the track. Yeah, that's my um, steering angle and uh, tow out uh, settings in the front. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Just send me a message. And uh, please check out the Infinity website for um, new products or uh, contact your local dealer. Um, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time.